Whether you've never heard of ChatGPT or you've been playing around with it but just can't seem to extract any value from it, this tutorial's for you. We're going to dive into the world of ChatGPT and help you unlock its full potential. We'll be looking at practical information and useful prompts that you can leverage to fine-tune your results. From understanding how to properly prime the model, to discovering the most efficient ways to use it in your daily work. So, if you're new, a quick recap. ChatGPT, the revolutionary AI language generation model, has taken the world by storm. It went from zero to one million active users in just five days. Now being the fastest company in history to do this, with its ability to understand and process human language at a level never seen before, it's no surprise that it's on everyone's mind. To get started with ChatGPT, the first thing you have to do is create an account and log in to chat.openai.com. Com. Click the sign up button and connect with your Google or Microsoft account. Now that you're all set up and ready to start using ChatGPT, let's look at all the important basics you need to understand in order to make friends with it. First, let's start with a simple prompt. ChatGPT is capable of answering almost any question you might have. For example, let's say you want to know what the tallest mountain in the world is. You would simply type in your question, hit enter, and get your output. But you can also use the regenerate response button to get a new generation of the same prompt, and a thumbs up or thumbs down button to report feedback, and the stop generating button if you see the answer getting derailed, or if you messed up and hit enter too soon. That happens. Officially, ChatGPT was trained on data that dates back to September 2021, so it is not knowledgeable with events that happened after that date. But there have been reports and examples of ChatGPT getting training updates and then lying about them. But while a lot of people are using ChatGPT like a conversational version of Google, it has much more potential to understand the context of what you're looking for and provide you with answers for more nuanced questions. For example, you can ask it to list me the five most reputable papers on the adverse health effects of Teflon. Or something like, under what circumstances can you deposit a client's funds which haven't yet been earned into your operating account? And it will come back to you with a legitimate answer within seconds. Just imagine the time-saving capabilities when doing research. Of course, you should always validate the answer you're given as ChatGPT has been known to make mistakes. Next, let's talk about continuing your conversations. One of the most powerful features of ChatGPT as opposed to previous tools provided by OpenAI, like the Sandbox, which which is also capable of running the same GPT-3 model, is its ability to continue conversations indefinitely. It makes reference of what you said earlier and pulls that context into new responses. For example, if you asked, list me the five most reputable papers on the adverse health effects of Teflon, you could then follow that up with, what are the main takeaways that demonstrate the health risks associated with Teflon for the first paper? And ChatGPT will understand what you mean when you write the first paper. Another great feature that ChatGPT has is the ability to remember your preferences. Since ChatGPT remembers your conversation within each chat instance indefinitely, you can set different rules and preferences for each conversation. For example, if you write, reply to every prompt in this conversation without any punctuation and make every other letter uppercase and then ask it about the different types of cloud formations, then nightmare fuel ensues. Although a silly example, this does demonstrate that ChatGPT will follow your guidelines and it will also remember your preferences within a single conversation instance. Thanks to this, you can fine-tune it to give you the exact kind of output you need, from helping you to build an app, to writing a novel, or role-playing Marcus Aurelius. And in the rare cases that it does make a mistake, just remind it in a friendly way to keep all your important rules in mind. So now that you understand the very basics, let's learn how to talk to ChatGPT, also known as prompt engineering. Maybe you've heard this term. Prompt engineering is an essential concept to understand when working with any type of AI. And a well-engineered prompt is the difference between an actually helpful answer and incomprehensible gibberish. 
A common mistake when working with a chat AI is to simply ask it to do things the way you would normally ask a person. This works up to a point, and while you'll still get an answer, you can get a far more desirable answer if you structure the prompt correctly. Let's take a look at an example. Imagine you're a recipe blogger and you're looking to make a post about ways to cook steak. Instead of simply asking ChatGPT, please write a blog post about cooking steak, you could structure your prompt more effectively by inputting, provide two most popular methods for cooking steak in South America, provide the recipes and list the ingredients for each with amounts in a table format. This way, you get a more detailed and specific answer to what you might have been actually after. Prompt engineering is a continuous process and every use case will be different. The goal is to experiment, creating better and better prompts until you get the desired outcome. It's important to note that prompt engineering is not limited to ChatGPT, but can be applied to most AI tools that you use. On a similar note, if you were wondering what are the best prompts that other people are using or what else you can be using ChatGPT for, we've created this completely free website where we've curated a collection of easy to use plug and play prompt sequences for different different workflows and outputs. They're meant to save you time and effort in setting up and fine-tuning your chat for certain tasks. The link is in the description below. And with that said, let's continue this course. Moving on, as hinted at previously, one of the big uses of ChatGPT is that it is great for coding. And this is great for all levels. Whether you're a beginner looking to build something, but so far you're only experienced with no-code tools, an intermediary looking to understand what a piece of code does, or a professional trying to speed up their problem-solving process. Learning to leverage ChatGPT and other AI tools in your workflow will put you miles ahead of your competition who fail to adapt. And it basically knows every type of programming language out there. You can even undertake really complicated tasks like building an entire application with ChatGPT as your co-pilot, even though there are better tools for this like GitHub's Copilot. So what else can ChatGPT do? Some other interesting uses of ChatGPT include, but are not limited to, 1. Providing general legal advice, which is of course not meant to be taken as legal advice. It can also help you, for example, in generating legal templates. So if you want to create a privacy policy for your website, ChatGPT can generate the structure for you. While you might not use the document in its entirety, ChatGPT will do most of the heavy lifting for you. 2. It can improve your social skills. If you've ever been, let's say, triggered by one of your co-workers but still need to send an important email without getting reported to HR, you can ask ChatGPT to check your email for whether it might come across uh, in a certain way. Tell it what you want your email to say, how you want it to feel and read, and let the GPT model do its AI magic. Number 3. Use it for writing. You can have fun with ChatGPT by asking it to write you your next hit song, a children's book, or a love poem. It's great for creative writing. But you can also have it write your LinkedIn posts or Twitter threads. And when you're ready to take it further, you can ask ChatGPT to teach you how to build an elaborate automation that transcribes your podcast episodes and turns the main takeaways into Twitter threads. 4. Find and organize data. Though it comes with limitations that you have to discover for yourself, ChatGPT can organize data and put them into tables that you can easily copy and paste your Word or spreadsheet documents. You can also have it find data sets for you simply by asking it for something along the lines of find data sets on toxicology of personal care products. So while we've covered the basics of ChatGPT and some examples of how it can be used for practical real-world tasks, there's still so much more you can do with it. The possibilities are endless. However, anything further is beyond the scope of this beginner tutorial. If you want to learn more specific and advanced ways to use ChatGPT to help you with your everyday life and work tasks, be sure to watch our other videos and subscribe to our channel.